So it's day two of VidCon, and this morning started out crazy. The signings and entries and all that stuff got really confused, so everyone got into this big, massive line that like went from the beginning of the convention center all the way down around like the theater, and it was just insane. And all the morning signings got like blocked off and were full by the time we got in, which sucks. But we did get to uh, meet Nick Patera, and he remembered me. And I almost cried, because <laughs> he is amazing. So I'm gonna link his channel so you guys can check him out, because he's really awesome. And like we saw O2L and Louis Cole from like a distance, because they were doing signings. And now we're in the ballroom, and we're here for Tyler Oakley's Q&A, which is his Q, and Slay. You didn't do it with me. Oh, Tyler Oakley's Q, Q and Slay. Um, and we just ran into these two people who make YouTube videos who gave us like their channels on business oh, cards and stuff. Um, and they're really, really nice. So I'm gonna check them out and then I will also link them in the description. And now we're just gonna watch Tyler Oakley and then we're gonna go get lunch maybe? And we'll figure out what we're doing this afternoon. But uh, Hi. yeah, so far so good, tiring, but I mean, Hey, the Nick Patera signing was kind of worth missing. Not worth missing Zoe, but it made up for it, right? Yeah. Yeah. He was really nice. So smells really good. I know. He looks like a Disney character. Like he looks like a Disney character. Yeah. So now we're gonna see Tyler, and I like purple, probably from those. But yeah, we're gonna meet new people, and I'm gonna get more people for my new project, and it's gonna be awesome. <laughs> Oh, you must not know. <laughs> we have something to talk about. Uh, yeah, that's my second announcement. I'm gay. <laughs> I was just talking to Corey. I was like, I've never made a coming out video on YouTube. I think I'm going to. Like, I was like, this does not need to happen. This, some people don't know. <laughs> um, I mean, I think the lilac was a hint. Uh, a subtle hint. It was a subtle lilac with a subtle hint. Um, what a way, great way to spend our VidCon. Let's just talk about YouTubers' butts. Marcus has a great butt. Uh, whose butt was I just looking at? All butts are great. That's the message. Thank you for coming. I think this is in focus. So kind of the rest of the panels we wanted to go to, or at least I wanted to go to, didn't really pan out, and all the food court places I closed. And you're a jackass. And so this is going to be really, really interesting. So we're going to get Subway and the girls are going to go to the Daily Bumps meetup and it'll be fun. Judges, please, we're my OTP. Oh. Even with whiskers drawn on like you're 13, you still make a ton of girls scream. And that's pretty weird, maybe I should leave. <laughs> Very near and dear to my heart. 
there are some animals in this world that are being hunted, and it's very sad. <laughs> Surprises you. Why me? 
that my knees are like. Oh. Uh, so I think my body is like you're supposed to be scared right now. You're all yeah. terrified. So Phil, what are we doing today? Well, you may have seen Zoe and Louise or PewDiePie and Mars here doing the game. Who's more likely to game? So I thought we could get to know each other a little better. So we've lived with each other for two years. Yeah, it's quite a while. So I thought, how well do we know each other? So questions will be like, who's more likely to be traumatized by a boss? Dan. Dan. Yeah, so, I mean, we didn't want to do anything on stage that was too, like, rehearsed or planned, because obviously, you know, we wouldn't be sincere, and it's nothing to do with us being lazy or forgetful, so that's why we <laughs> We asked you guys um, at home on Twitter to send us questions, so to the people looking through the cameras, they sent us some tweets, but we're not going to read them ourselves, because that would be a bit awkward. So, welcome our glamorous assistant, Cam Riffey! We can just hate each other and move out, okay? okay. This, this is the test, so I hope you're ready. Right, what is the first question? Who's more likely to die first during a zombie apocalypse? Oh, no. Dad. <laughs> what? Because Are you kidding me? Well, the underdog who's really clumsy always survives in the movies. Okay. I don't think I survive till the end. I know where you're getting with that, but you know when the zombie apocalypse happens and the door breaks down and there's that irrelevant extra that just gets like eaten? <laughs> <laughs> that would be you. You've lost like three and a half seconds. Happy person. I have a 7 Up flavored slurp Slurpee and Nutella on the go, which you can't really see, but that's it. And I'm gonna go get in line with maybe some of the lone wolves. I don't know if I've talked to you about it yet. I'll have to do that. Um, for the concert series tonight, which includes We the Kings, which were here last year, and they're amazing live. And um, I also walked by Charles Trippy and Travis, so that looks like. Super cool. I'm getting text messages. I'm popular. So yeah, I'm gonna maybe film more people for my documentary thingy. Mm -hmm. This time this is happening. Oh my god. Yeah. You, you, you have like literally the coolest hair. You do? You see Rose Derby? You see Rose Derby? Yeah, I did. Woo! I did roll her so much. But I You can just sort of do whatever, you can jam, and then I was completely out of breath. Which you probably noticed, but are kind enough to overlook. Show me the time. 